Hello, my name is JC Rose. I've been driving with Prime since December of 2020. I've been on the uh, driver advisory board now for about, right at about one year. Uh, the impact that it has on me, uh, giving me the opportunity to uh, uh, be an advocate for all of our hardworking and deserving drivers to get out here, to, to come and, and sit and uh, hold meetings with, the, uh, uh, with uh, Mr. Lowe and also the executive staff to address issues and concerns for uh, our drivers out there to be the advocate for those drivers. And I, I really and truly enjoy being there, uh, being the spokesperson, uh, being a representative for those drivers um, so that we can resolve uh, some of those issues that are most pressing and concerning for them. Uh, some of the friendships uh, business-wise um, that I've made uh, since the time that I've been on the board has been phenomenal. Uh, we have such a great uh, group of men and women who work diligently to uh, to represent our, our fellow drivers. Um, we are a very, very tight-knit group. Uh, we have our own um, chat group that we sit and we talk and we discuss the issues that are being presented by some of the drivers. Um, some people uh, may think that some of the questions that are being presented um, are, are not worthy of being uh, discussed. And we get the opportunity to prioritize uh, some of those issues so that we can get the, uh, the, uh, the hot topics addressed uh, so that we can get those uh, issues resolved uh, to make the company uh, better and also um, for the betterment of the driver because uh, what we do here uh, within Prime is for the whole of Prime. I highly encourage any driver um, that has uh, been with the company uh, for some time um, for you to be nominated to uh, be on or, and be a part of the Driver Advisory Board. First and foremost, um, you out there working hard, showing your due diligence, uh, and also uh, being a true positive representative for the company. Uh, your fleet manager will uh, see all those uh, facets of uh, your, your complete hard work ethics and they will, they'll sit and they'll talk with you and uh, get your perspective on what you would, um, for you to be a part of the Driver Advisory Board and uh, also you will get the opportunity to apply for that, um, that position uh, backfilling uh, another phenomenal driver who has now fulfilled their obligations as a uh, uh, driver advisory board member. Uh, with that process is, uh, your, first of all, your fleet manager will contact you. Uh, and with that being said, there's a questionnaire. Also, you will submit a, um, a video of you explaining why you want to be a part of that and what the driver advisory board would mean for you and what you plan to bring to the table uh, in regards to um, your, your foresight, your experience, uh, and also uh, uh, those topics can be used to help better the company. Uh, some of the topics uh, uh, that have been addressed, um, uh, unfortunately, some of them are ongoing, but it takes time uh, uh, to get some things implemented. And that's what we have to, some of the drivers out here, they have to understand that uh, a lot of issues that must be um, addressed uh, and resolved. It can't be a knee-jerk reaction because what you have to understand is that you have to make these plans and these implementations for, um, uh, for the future and also for the positiveness of moving forward for the company itself. Um, so you, there's, a, there's a patience of understanding um, uh, the company uh, successes and also those uh, successes for the drivers and also some of the uh, 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 issues uh, some drivers may feel that um, it being a personal issue uh, if it hasn't been addressed immediately but you have to also understand that it's just not an individual goal it is a company goal and we all have to work toward the success of the company if the company is successful the drivers will be successful